The political spectrum is freaking worthless. If you haven't watched my Defining Terms political spectrum video, I recommend you go watch it right now so that you know what the heck I'm talking about. Put simply, there's no one clear political spectrum. There's many reasonably objective ways to put ideologies on a spectrum, but no one clear, concise spectrum that anyone can agree to. And oftentimes, these political spectrums make no freaking sense. I mean, really? Nazism and Marxism-Leninism on opposite sides of the political spectrum? Really? I mean, they're, they're both totalitarian dictatorships with command economies. They're the same, save one thing. The political spectrum only makes sense, therefore, if it's globalism on the left and nationalism on the right. I love the contortions that political science has gone to reconcile this clear contradiction. You're not fooling anyone, academia. You're just socialists who wants everybody to forget that Nazi means national socialist. Anyways, horseshoe theory. The further you go towards vaguely defined extreme, the more totalitarian you become. Whatever floats your boat, man. Hans Eysenck, and I'm probably butchering that name, created the two axes of radicalism and tenderness. Calm down, Mr. Eysenck. I know you're hungry, but we're discussing politics, not fried food. Besides, it doesn't matter who you talk to. If you disagree with someone politically, ten times out of ten, you'll disagree on what the political spectrum looks like. And so often, I get bogged down trying to assert my definition of the political axis, only to realize my definition is no more correct than theirs. I'm not going to lie, I've given up. What category I am on a graph nobody is ever going to agree on? It doesn't matter. Ideas and principles are what matter. Socialists are still going to socialist, no matter where they are on the blueberry kumquat axis. Labels are important. Definitions are important. And if I'm going to enter the discussion, any discussion, it is important that we have clear, objective definitions we can both agree on. At least that way, they'll know what the heck I'm talking about!